once the tree is done, and look how beautiful that is, that sort of set the tone and the palette for the room. Yeah. And then you fill in the extras. So tell me about your extras here in your living room and how you made something out of nothing. Okay, well great. So we'll start with this feature up here above the TV. Um, Garland, that green garland is super cheap. I've had that stuff forever. Um, I keep on saying I'm gonna throw it away, but I don't wanna keep rebuying stuff, so I would just fluff it up. So ribbon, again, some pretty wire ribbon. I just kind of manipulate that through there. And then I also, that little beaded, um, it's like a beaded garland that I found. Oh, and so I just kind of yeah. lay it in there. And literally that is like some really cheap garland that I've had forever that I just fluff up every year. So I went to Home Depot had a guy help us cut some wood, and I noticed these blocks kind of stuck in the back, and I'm like, what are you doing with those blocks? They were perfectly cut, perfect shape, the same, and he's like, oh, those are scraps, we're just throwing them away. So I said, can I have them for free? He said, sure. Again, I grabbed them, I had no idea what I was gonna do with them, but I was like, I will find a purpose for them. So, so I didn't know what to do with the space. I wanted something big and bulky, and I painted them, and super, I literally had scrap paint, I painted the edges brown first, and then the white, and I just kind of took sandpaper and ta-da. I have a silhouette, so I cut those in vinyl, but you could paint those, and um, there you go. Like, just go on Pinterest, go online, look at magazines, and you can find things you like and find ways to make your own. It really, and you don't have to be artistic to do it. I mean, that, that literally, and it was, and it was a no-brainer, and it was, you know, if it didn't work, that's fine. You know, I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try. And it's literally one of my very, very favorite. It's so fun. Tell me about your ladder over here, because this oh, is such a great ladder. story. So this is super fun in that I have pretty much captured our family since we've been married. Um, well, we married 25 years in July. So I have kept all of our Christmas cards. I'm big into pictures, so our cards were all pictures. And so you can literally see my kids and my family grow. And it, this has changed up a bit. When I first did it, um, I just kind of had it on garland, kind of swagged above a window. And then I had it on a ribbon straight down. And as the years go by, I keep on adding some I love the cards. ladder. So we've done the ladder. So cute. And this over here, now when you're put, putting kind of a couch table, uh, display together what do you think and we talked about proportion with the tree do you think consider the proportion when you're looking at a, a smaller tablescape oh absolutely and also find easy ways to kind of um, just add a little color without it being overwhelming so this is super simple this is a these little balls are kind of wired together and they have lights in them and this is just a little fabric that i found so i mean it's simply that some big pieces big pieces are fun don't be scared by big pieces because they just fill in space so i try to keep my kitchen pretty simple just because it's a working space and remember i mean like whatever you put up you got to bring back down so again trying to find things that kind of make a statement without too much trouble too so you're not overwhelmed so the garland up on the top i've done different things with that i used to have ribbon wire through there i used to have ornaments um, this year I wanted to keep it simple. Again, I'm tired. I was tired. <laughs> tired. Year, but I, you know, but I love it. It's simple. Yeah. This is a great garland because it already has kind of the built-in pine cones. But you can jazz it up. You know, like those inserts that I told you that mm -hmm. we use for the tree. You can use that for the garland. Um, uh, the, this is an also easy way to accessorize. I bought a bunch of these swags one year. Um, added some of the little holly. Made big bows like I just showed you how to do. Made a bunch of these, and I literally walked around the house and stick them places. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I can use that one right here. I have one over on the side table over there. I have one over my Bible. So I literally walk around the house and kind of just, and those are so easy to make. It's a nice little touch. It kind of pops in the area and it's fast. Tell me about your Christmas cards. Oh yes, so this, talking about spray paint, I've had this forever and ever. It used to be red and green. And then when I changed colors, I was looking for a new one, could not find one. And then you know what? This one kind of became sentimental. I'm like, yeah, I've had this forever. So I spray painted it. And there you go, it's spray painted white. Christmas cards, everyone does pictures now. They're so much fun. A uh, couple years, I try to do a scrapbook. I try to do a photo album, but I wanted to look at them. So what I started to do is I finally got, got them all out, grouped them together, and I have them by year. So this is like my oldies, starting off with a card from 1999 and simply 
punched a hole in them and put them through a little ring. And so I can go and look and look at these old cards. And I like keeping this one out um, every year just because that one's a fun one. So these are my last year pictures. Same thing. I pick out all the colored ones, put them through the ringer. And, yeah, um, you just like a metal ring. Yeah, metal ring. It's just your little binder ring. Wow. You see, this one needs a little bow. I forgot to put a little bow oh, on it. Oh, you didn't put a bow on it. No. <laughs> but this is really cool. And so literally, I have about five of these now. Oh. And so every year, I'll take them out, pick out. And it's just a fun, easy way. And I have friends who will, my family knows. I have one cousin in particular. When she comes to my house for Christmas, the first thing she does is start looking through my pictures. And she'll look through them, and then she'll remember a family. Or she's like, I can't remember them. And then I can go back and be like, do I remember them last year? She's like, oh, my gosh, they had another kid. It's just really cute. <laughs> keep all of those. Um, this is another scrap. These, when I got those little scrap pieces, the squares, he also gave me some of these, and I made that. Jenny, thank you for all your wonderful ideas. I can't wait to see what you do at Easter.